This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Look at that! Brand new merch. Go to the merch store. If you don't understand the joke, thanks for not watching the podcast. Kim, what are we doing today? Uh, is it weird Nintendo Switch accessories time? It is, I slammed the table really hard. It is weird Nintendo Switch accessories time. We haven't done one of these in so long. These are so, things so dumb that I don't know why anyone other than me would buy them, but some of them are actually really cool. I wonder how many of these things that you bought were created in hopes that you specifically would buy it and review it. Sometimes I buy these things and then the people that made them message me like, thanks Wood, hope you like it. Actually, can you, are you able to grab me that? Yeah. Cause I have a story about oh, that. Yeah. Literally the day after I posted my video of us like playing around with this thing. Someone just posted a picture of theirs with the Switch inside and it blew up. It was all over Reddit. It was all over Twitter. Everyone was sending it to me. Like it got hundreds of thousands of likes of people oh. like, look at this cool beam. I'm like, I know Wait, that was in my video yesterday. You know what actually I find really interesting about this Beemo? What? Is that he's square <laughs> and takes up just a ton of space. Oh my God. <laughs> Today's sponsor is Squarespace. <laughs> what a great segue. Thank you, Bimo. <laughs> Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful website super easy. Even I built a website using Squarespace and it was as easy as just double clicking on whatever pictures or text I wanted to change. All you gotta do is just choose one of their unique template designs and just start adding your own content with Squarespace's simple to use tools. Whether it's for your business or just a personal website, you should create your own website using Squarespace. Because when it's this easy, why not? You can sell your own merch or things that you've created through your website, track your sales using inbuilt tools, see how much traffic you're getting the whole nine yards. I even embedded my YouTube videos directly into the site. Just head to squarespace.com for a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash beat-em-ups to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Shut down. There is actually a ton, so we have to speed okay. through these okay. today. Okay, should I move him? Nah, keep him. Leave him here, he's my little mascot. I'm proud that I discovered that before the internet did. Oh, oh I probably shouldn't have started with this. Oh. You know, a normal, boring Nintendo fan would just plop their Switch in a Ugh, Kim, ugh, say it with me, ugh. Ew, ugh. ugh. A pro Nintendo Switch gamer puts their dock in a dock. I think it looks better with the red one than it would well, a yeah, black one, actually. It's, it's the Mario one, so it's on theme. You obviously have this 3D printed mural of Mario, which looks fantastic. They did a yeah. really good job with that. But then also in these pipes, you can store your Switch games. And I yeah. love that a lot. It's kind of like they're coming out of the pipes. There's these holes behind here so you can mount it on the wall. If you weren't like me and I have just stuff everywhere. Yeah. And it was just a nice normal person's game room, blank wall. Maybe theme. Maybe a theme, maybe a couple of posters on the wall, and then your dock is mounted cool. on the wall. Yeah, that's yeah, really especially cool. Especially the red one. I'm gonna take a photo of that and post it on Instagram before someone else does. Okay, next. Oh. Yeah, this one's kind of a, obviously a joke one that I bought. Is it? Well, okay, so there was this place online selling custom cases for Switches, and a lot of Ooh. them were ridiculous. And there was just some that I wouldn't be caught dead with. But then I saw Sour Patch Kids. Oh, no. Oh, stick them. It's not a plastic. No. <laughs> I'm willing to sacrifice one of my many switches. Are you? We could probably sacrifice a broken one. Okay, do the one that doesn't work. There cool. you go. All right. That'll do. For the record, I don't actually want this to happen. I'm doing it for the video meme. Oh no. Apparently, like, you see how it's got like shapes and bends and stuff? Well, they totally. messed it up. Yeah, well, what's this gotta... big thing for? I don't know. For, oh, probably for this. Oh. Scam. What? I have something to show you. Oh, okay. I made something. Oh no. It's awful. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> you stuck them to the nice controllers? Well, I thought we agreed on that because of the colors. No, I said leave the controllers plain because they look like Sour Patch Kids colors. I was expecting you to not. Oh, but no. That's the, one of the worst things I've ever seen. I know, seen. it's so bad. The wraps barely cover any of the Switch. Can I be honest? Yeah. I kind of like the back. Oh, the back's fine. I don't have a problem with the back. <laughs> it's really dumb. My new favorite Switch. <laughs> no. So these, I would never, I am not trusting this, honestly. But these, you put your Switch games in them. They snap in just like that. And then you put them on your keys. <laughs> 
So, you know, I mean, what else do you want me to say? You carry some Switch games around on your keys in case of emergency gaming, I guess. They snap in pretty well. Initially, I was like, I don't really trust them not to fall out. There's a little they... notch in the back and you just yeah, kind of push pull... them out. I mean, that's not too bad. No, I think it's cool. It's kind of cute. Oh, oh, this thing was expensive. Oh. It's a pinball machine for your Switch and there's a pinball game on Switch. I don't think that'll take too long to download pinball. I mean, it's pinball. What do you want from me? So we'll come back to this in a second once that's done. Downloaded. Uh, try that one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that one's for you. They just threw these in the bottom. These are like French fries in the bottom of the box at McDonald's. at the best part. Oh, that is so cute. I know. That is really cute, I though. I like that it has ears. Yeah. Okay, so this I half bought as a joke, half bought something really cool for Kim. I usually don't like these covers for switches, but I saw this one and it was just so sweet oh. that I knew Kim would love it. Where is my switch the first one i had on the table this one no that's the broken one that's the the pool you okay want. so this that's is the good it. one. Oh yeah there we go what can a you world to be living in where you have to decipher between like eight switches now which one was the one that i brought not the good one but you know the one not that i don't either. need this from I'm... you right now oh wow i actually kind of like it <laughs> considering i hate the game you know me i bought this for a <laughs> memes because there's no way that a cyberpunk can run on switch and b cyberpunk can run but you know what? I thought this was gonna be a dumb little goof and a gap. Oh, what is with the no effort on the back of the Joy-Cons here? They're not the same yellow. The different yellow, it is weird, but it's not bothering me as much as the fact that they just kind of gave up on the design on the back. You know what? Other than that, I actually kind of like this design. It's actually kind of sick. That works too. The yellow one. Oh, yeah, the yellow one's better. Mm -hmm. You guys can't see anything that's happening no, behind there. Just them. trust that something is happening back here. What's happening behind there is as much of a mystery as what's in there. This bag. Oh, because you don't remember. No, because this was actually a mystery bag. Oh. On Etsy, someone was selling Nintendo Switch mystery bags. Oh, they knew you were coming. It looks like I've checked, but I actually haven't. I just ripped my address off of it. Oh my god. Oh, it feels nice. Yeah, I like it. That's a really nice texture to it. It's kind of like a matte texture. That is so cute. Well, now we both have new yellow switches. I'm gonna leave mine on, I think. I'm not. <laughs> oh, we got some extra KFC wet wipes. <laughs> I can't remember how much this cost. I think it was like $20, $25 for a Nintendo Switch mystery box. All I remember is it's supposed to have a Switch game in there. Uh, so the odds of me getting a game I uh, don't have. That. What is that? How is this in any way related to Switch? Oh no. Gosh. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they send Hugo on Blu-ray? Here you go. Well, I don't, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't oh, have that good. one. There you go. Hey. Is that the whole, that's everything? That's everything. That's the worst mystery box ever. I mean, the sticker that's left in there is pretty apt. Trust no one. <laughs> My guy, how are you going to charge me 30 bucks for a blind bag and put in a sticker that says trust no one and Hugo on Blu-ray? <laughs> to be fair, I haven't seen this movie. Maybe it's me good. Either. Uncle Sam with a exposed chest. Right. And an alien's face. Bigger. The only thing switch in here is sports party. Try that one. Oh. oh. You know what? I'll, t I'll tell you what this is in a second. Uh, I don't know what that is. Either. There's two things in there. Ooh, those are cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My voice went so high. I forgot about these. I was actually considering doing a weird Switch controller video, but I guess these are accidentally here now. <laughs> these are actually pretty cute. I kind of love them. They're so strange. These are Tom Nook's face and ears as Joy-Cons. I kind of like the way they feel because they're so fat kind of like tom nook and then obviously the buttons have these little flips lips on them that are supposed to look like his ears there's a d-pad on the left one which you love to see okay yeah i like that that actually feels really good this feels reminiscent of the satisfy grip very similar yeah oh they got back triggers too that's Ooh. nice but the only thing i don't like is there's charge ports on each of the joy cons Aww. which means they don't charge themselves when they're in a dock i hate having a double charge joy cons but, but other than so that cute. It almost yeah, they matter. are really cute. You can put your two Switch games in here and then an SD card here. It's very really it, convenient. It's convenient. It's kind of cool. weird that they opted for this shape because it feels kind of unnatural. Little Joy-Con dots like that. There's some kind of ergonomical reason for it. You excited to open Pokemon cards on Twitch tonight, Kim? Yeah. We have... Very They're behind... Can you... I... Ugh. Editor, just put a clip in. We have... <laughs> 
two new chilling rain booster boxes. Yes, I bought two because I am a ridiculous person. You guys have missed it because you didn't follow me on Twitch. Or maybe you didn't miss it because you do follow me on Twitch. Thanks. But Kim and I are going to open like 3,000 Pokemon Silly. cards tonight. Zach, if we got anything good, show it here. It's way fancier than the other one. Yeah, I know. It's a lot more rigid. Oh, it's got a ball joint on it. Too. Oh, yeah. You gotta love a ball joint. So we've reviewed things like this before. Most notably, the bungee cord thing that bounced around my neck. And then you just give it one of these. I don't think the whole switch will fit in. I think no, it's just... just the screen. I mean, it's bouncing now, but it seems sturdy. I love the, the view that I have of this. Hey, pinball's done. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I mean, I don't know like practically where you would use this. Um, I would look at this more for other things than the Switch. You're right. It would be good for other things, like a hot dog or something. So if you're like watching TV and <laughs> take a bite. <laughs> All right, let's try this. <gasps> What'd you do? The light got power when I plugged <gasps> it in. <gasps> so cool. Oh my God. This is sick! It's so responsive, it actually just works. The only thing I wish they had done was put lights in the backboard. But other than that, really nice work. I like the details and the decal. I think he could make a lot of money if he had like different overlays you could oh, yeah, pick from. Because this is like his store theme. It's super cool. You forget you're even playing Switch. It yeah. feels like you're playing- It's just a little mini arcade. A little mini arcade. Oh no, oh my God, I bought so much stuff. No. Oh. No, not another fishing game. This looks better than the other. I know, now. that's the okay. thing. So there was another fishing game on Switch, and I'm not even going to mention it because there's a whole story behind that game in me, but it was absolutely terrible. But I love fishing. Oh, it actually looks good. Yeah, it's nice. God dang, I kind of want to grab a camera and show people. Working? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds horrible. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, a fish, fish made a bite. Use your rod and hook the... Oh! Whoa. Hook went successful. Now it's time to fish it up. Start reeling in to draw the fish to you. Oh. Oh. When the tension bar is full, the line may get cut. To avoid it, stop reeling. Okay, line it up with the fish. Okay, now get him. When the tension bar is empty, the... Okay. Oh. 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 Okay, I did it. Oh my god. There's a lot of talking. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not done. Great. The fish came closer to you. Let's keep reeling. What? Get. Well, got? I got it. It's a one star. Just like my channel. Oh, that was intense. Should I try fishing one on my own? See if I can attract a fish. Fishy, 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 fishy. Fishy, 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 fishy. That one on the right's getting closer. You see that? No. Come on, fish. Oh, he's coming back. He might like it. All right, I'm going to try one more time and then give up with my tail between my legs. Oh, wait, here comes one. He went away. Uh, well, I can't help but be too loud. This thing's like I'm... Oh! Okay, let's get him, baby. Oh, that was so easy. All right, well, it works. And I think it's pretty cool, actually. I like it a lot. The game's not too bad either. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. The people that made BMO, Magsta LLC, noticed the extreme boom in popularity their last product received. No thanks to me when some avid internet Redditors posted it online and they decided they'd dabble at something else. And you got a Game Boy! A really giant Game Boy, which is then where this little guy came into play. I bought this somewhere else, but it's like a matching little buddy that I can keep my games in when I play them on my giant Game Boy. And then to go even more overboard, actually it's probably better that I bought vinyl even though I didn't realize. If I decided to use them, then I would have a completely old school Game Boy themed thing. Should I take a photo of it now and post it or should I wait? But yeah, that's the last thing. Is what do you think? Yeah. Okay. What do you want? You want more? I think you missed one. Why are you doing that now? You want to tell people what you've done? Got your ring because you wanted one. Yeah. Oh, well, you got to put it on. I have to put it. Yeah. You have to hold out the right hand. There you go. Ugh. Should be the right size. That's so nice. And it's wood because that's your name. How much was it? 
I don't want to talk about that. Okay, where are we going to write all this stuff? <laughs> I feel like these should definitely be on the bottom because they're not even cut out. The blind me. bag was way worse than anything else. The blind bag sucked. But it had a game in it that you didn't have. I don't care, man. It had Hugo. The fishing rod was really cool. This thing was really it's cool. Bad. This thing was really cool. This thing probably won't blow up the way the other one did online when I take my photo. The ears were like average. That was a meme. This thing kind of goes with that thing. Your thing's kind of cute to put that in about the middle. Oh, and this thing's probably oh. appropriately where it is. Okay. We'll just leave that there. Is that everything? That's everything. Okay. I believe. I believe and then everything. my new ring is like <laughs> over here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like subscribe. Kim has a channel and she just passed 75,000 subscribers. So let's get her to 100,000 so she can get a play button. Kim has an Etsy, just like all these people have an Etsy. I'll leave that down below as well. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring. And that's it. Bye. <laughs> we had to take a second because we confused each other. Kim gave me a ring in the video and it was a very special moment and I was about to cry, but I didn't know if I was supposed to tell the story or not. And when Kim saw me, she thought that she had messed up and given me the ring at the wrong time because I didn't want to tell the story yet, but I do and we got confused. <laughs> so Kim, do you want to tell the story? I feel like you should. Kim and I have been married mm. for over three years. <laughs> We decided we wanted to be together a very long time ago. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people probably already figured it out because I'm still sat in America somehow. But to be together, we had to get married pretty quick. And so we did. A whole courtroom thing. It was a bunch of fun. We'll tell the whole story another time. I think that would be fun because the whole story has many twists or turns. <laughs> everything that we've been through to get to this point has been everything from extreme happiness to like the most stressful of stress. Yeah, I mean, I'll <laughs> leave that there. But when we got married, we, we decided we didn't want to tell anyone or make a big deal about it until we had a wedding because we wanted it to feel official and special and not like we just rushed something because we didn't rush it in our minds. We just literally had to in real Legally, life. We Legally, had yeah. we had to rush and we were gonna have a wedding, but then COVID hit and that's been like two years now. And this whole time we've been married and my hand has been naked. Which you were very upset about. Which I didn't like, <laughs> but it didn't feel right to put a ring on it until we had a wedding and everyone knew we were married. Like it was kind of supposed to be a symbolism thing or symbolizing thing for me. And I'm, I don't know about both of us, but for me that we finally made it to that wedding that we wanted and it's official now. Like we celebrated and now I can wear a ring everywhere in everything without questions like, are you married? Are you married? So Kim <laughs> gave me a ring because I wanted one. You're still wearing your engagement ring. I know. And he is bulky. Yeah. We made a mistake on that one. So I guess now I've got to get you a wedding ring smaller a smaller so much smaller slightly more expensive now i don't think that's necessarily the that, case we were kind of broke back then okay <laughs> i mean it looks expensive so that's the story that's yeah the we're story. married but if i still put girlfriend in anything it's purely it's for the, the algorithm, algorithm. <laughs> but this is my wife yeah. oh oh <laughs> this is my wife and this is her wig <laughs> <laughs> thank you for my ring you're welcome I mean, it's not like we can delete the footage and be like, oh, that didn't happen. Cut it, Zach.